Mukesh Ambani's astonishing wealth and his journey to success. As you watch this video, Mukesh Ambani, one of the world's wealthiest individuals, is earning an astronomical amount of money. By the time you finish watching this short clip, Ambani would have earned approximately 1.92 rupees crore. That translates to nearly 2 rupees crore in just 10 minutes. This incredible rate of earning under the immense wealth and financial power that Ambani wields. A lavish wedding, the Ambani way. Recently, there has been considerable buzz around the wedding of Mukesh Ambani's son. This extravagant event was attended by celebrities from across the globe, including top performers, cricketers, and movie stars. The gathering was a testament to the sheer opulence of the Ambani family. Stars such as Justin Bieber, who reportedly charged 80 crore Indian rupees, or 280 crore Pakistani rupees, for a brief performance, graced the occasion, highlighting the scale of the expenditure. The source of Mukesh Ambani's wealth. This brings us to a common question. How did Mukesh Ambani accumulate such vast wealth? With a net worth of 10,370 billion rupees, Ambani stands as the richest man in Asia. The source of his income is multifaceted, encompassing various sectors, including telecommunications, petroleum, retail, and cricket. A tale of two brothers, Mukesh and Anil Ambani. Despite Mukesh Ambani's immense wealth, his brother Anil Ambani's fortunes tell a different story. While Mukesh enjoys unparalleled success, Anil faces financial difficulties. To understand this contrast, let's delve into the history and growth of the Ambani Empire. The Visionary Dhirubhai Ambani Mukesh Ambani's success story is deeply rooted in the vision and entrepreneurial spirit of his father, Dhirubhai Ambani. In the 1950s, Dhirubhai left Gujarat for Yemen, seeking better opportunities. He worked as a clerk in an import-export business for eight years, gaining valuable insights into the trade industry. In 1958, Dhirubhai returned to India with a wealth of experience and a business idea. He founded Reliance Commercial Corporation, RCC, initially focusing on trading spices. The company bought spices from India and exported them to the Middle East and Africa. Dhirubhai's deep understanding of the business enabled him to navigate challenges and achieve success. From trading to manufacturing, Dhirubhai Ambani was not content with merely trading spices. In 1966, he ventured into manufacturing, launching Reliance Textiles. At the time, the Indian government imposed strict regulations on cotton, causing a crisis in the textile industry. Dhirubhai turned to synthetic textiles, which not only circumvented government policies, but also gained popularity in the market. The growth of Reliance Industries Reliance Industries flourished, attracting significant investment from both large investors and the general public. By 1987, the company had achieved enough success to become the title sponsor of the Cricket World Cup. However, to sustain the textile industry, Reliance needed petrochemicals, which prompted Dhirubhai to establish Reliance Petroleum. The transition to Mukesh and Danil Ambani. In 1986, due to Dhirubhai's declining health, his sons, Mukesh and Anil Ambani, began assisting in the business. Following Dhirubhai's death in 2002, a rift emerged between the brothers over control of Reliance Industries. The Board of Governors decided to grant Mukesh greater control, leading to a division of the business in 2005. Mukesh took over Reliance's oil, gas, petrochemical, and manufacturing sectors, while Anil managed Reliance Energy, Telecom, and Reliance Capital. Mukesh Ambani's Expansion Mukesh Ambani continued to expand his division. He enhanced the Jamnagar Petroleum Refinery, making it the world's largest. He also ventured into the retail industry, revolutionizing it with discounted stores and supermarkets under the Smart Bazaar brand. The Rise of Geo In 2016, Mukesh Ambani made a significant entry into the telecom industry with Geo, offering free calls, data, and messages. This disrupted the market, leading to a massive shift in consumer preferences towards Geo. The company's user base skyrocketed, and it later introduced 5G and began working on 6G technology, cementing its dominance. Mukesh Ambani's Media Ventures In 2024, Mukesh Ambani announced plans to create India's largest media company, signing an $8.5 billion contract with Disney. His influence now spans across various sectors, making him one of the most powerful business magnates globally. The contrast with Anil Ambani while Mukesh thrived, 
Anil Ambani's fortunes waned. Anil's aggressive expansion strategies, coupled with high-risk investments and competition with industry giants, led to financial troubles. Reliance Communications, his telecom venture, could not compete with Airtel, Vodafone, and Geo, eventually going bankrupt. Legal troubles and financial decline. Anil Ambani's financial misfortunes were compounded by legal issues. In one instance, he faced a court order to repay Ericsson, with the threat of arrest looming if he failed to comply. Mukesh stepped in to bail him out, but Anil's overall financial situation remained dire. He even declared a net worth of zero in a UK court during a legal case involving Chinese banks. The opulent lifestyle of Mukesh Ambani. Despite these family dynamics, Mukesh Ambani's lifestyle reflects his immense wealth. His residence, Antilia, is a 27-story skyscraper in Mumbai, featuring luxurious amenities such as temples, salons, spas, theaters, gyms, helipads, and a showroom of the world's most luxurious cars. The eye-mated expenditure on his son Anant's wedding further highlights the family's opulence. The Ambani Legacy Mukesh Ambani's journey from inheriting his father's business to becoming one of the world's richest individuals is a tale of vision, strategy, and relentless pursuit of growth. His success contrasts sharply with his brother Anil's financial decline, underscoring the different paths the two brothers took. Today, Mukesh Ambani's influence extends across various sectors, making him a central figure in India's economic landscape.